good morning good morning boss babies i'm on my way to work and i wanted to share something with my boss babies out there that are uh, contemplating buying a fixer upper property i have five tips that i want you to um be enlightened on when you're starting on your fixer up property first of all you've bought the property it's time to go in there and clean it up cover your head guys cover your head ladies put a wrap on guys put a cap on but you want to cover your head going in this property because you're going to have debris you got all this stuff in the air germs cover your head cover your um hands put on gloves wear loose fitting clothes because this is the first day of you working on your property and i'm so proud that you've even contemplating starting on it you bought it so now it's time to clean it up right second tip and this is very important because this is a major step go in there and clean out all the debris don't be maybe you don't even have the money yet but go in there clean out all the debris make sure you've bought your wafer boards because you want to after you clean this house up go through and sweep it mop it get out all the trash um leaves and sticks that i'm sure that are in there if there's broken glass you want to cover your property with wafer boards because i don't know what it is about people but they will break they'll walk down the street and it's just bother them that uh empty house is sitting there they'll break the windows i mean it's just so childish but anyway you want to make sure that after you've cleaned your property out don't just leave your property put you some boards up put those boards up to protect your new property put the boards up and every time you go back to work on it take your front boards down then as you work toward the back take your back boards down but leave your boards up until all the windows have been replaced and you are ready to rent or sell this property clean off the yard that's the biggest tip I can give you because that lets people know that, hey, someone has this property now and they're about to make the neighborhood look better. They're going to be an enhancement to the neighborhood. Clean off your yard, guys. It don't take nothing to find you a, a teenager that'll get in there and help you get it mowed and get it cleaned off. So you don't have to have a lot of money starting off with your fixer-upper. Don't let money be an issue and even getting this fixer upper, but do what you can until the money comes through, guys. Clean the yard off. Next, you want to buy and put up a sign to let people know that you're about to rent this property, that this property is about to be on the market soon. Go ahead and put your sign and contact up because people are needing to call you and ask you, hey, what are you going to do? What are you renting it for? What are you selling it for? You want to be able to have you a, a prospect list. Keep a list. Keep a list so when this house is gorgeous again, you have your interested people already at your fingertip. Next, I want you to take before pictures. Don't forget to take how it looked before you started all your work. You want to make sure that people see your progress, that you see your progress, because now you're a land landlord or you're a property owner. You want to you want to see you know the fruits of your labor. So make sure that you take before and after pictures guys i just want to share those five quick tips y'all know my videos are short and quick and to the point y'all have a great day